Up until I was a freshman in high school, I was fine, you know, healthy and everything. And then about three weeks into my freshman year, I had been kind of run down all week with a cold. And I stayed home from school and just kind of being lazy on the couch all day. And I just thought it was just a really bad case of the flu. And when my sister came home from school, she noticed that I had purple splotches all over my body. And she's like, well, that's really weird. Bacterial meningitis, that's what you hear about on the news where the kid goes from being well one second to a few hours later in the intensive care unit. Um, and that is a very serious illness and can be very life-threatening. Meningitis um, is kind of a broad term that you use for the inflammation of the skin layer that surrounds the brain. Diagnosing it is somewhat difficult because the early signs are very nonspecific. Someone with fever, stiff neck, and headache, maybe light sensitivity. But those can be signs of other um, illnesses as well. I was in a drug-induced coma for about three weeks. So I had both my feet amputated um, below the knee, and I've had several fingers amputated um, just because the blood couldn't get there and the tissue just died. Very young children and kids in the 16 to 22 year old age group are most at risk from bacterial meningitis. That's because it spreads quickly in places like dorms or military barracks. Young kids are immunized against the disease, but there's also a vaccine available for older kids. It's a very safe vaccine and it's worth obtaining prior to um, going off to um, college or just even if you're not going off to college in that, in that age group. Anything where you're going to be in kind of crowded conditions for a prolonged period of time where the uh, risk of transmission is increased. It's usually given at the 11 to 12 uh, age um, group and then there is a new recommendation to have a booster shot at the age of 16. When I got out of the hospital I had to relearn how to write because I didn't have all the fingers I did before. And you have to relearn how to eat because you can't use the utensils the same way and then just relearn how to live outside of a hospital and do everything for yourself again. When my skin was healthy enough I got prosthetics so I had to learn how to walk again. Um, so I, it was just a very long process. Despite his surgeries, rehabilitation, and long recovery through high school, Carl, who's now a senior at Gonzaga University, didn't let meningitis sidetrack him. After I got back in February and over the summer, I was able to catch up and pass all my classes and was able to stay with my class. I graduated as a senior valedictorian with a 4.0, so I'm sure my mom would want me to say that. I'm more of a person than I was before because I realized, you know, it's not, like I said, it's not just about sports, it's about who I am as an entire person. So you just take life a lot more seriously and just take every day as if it's a new day and you have something to do.